Hello, people! It's me, John Avenger, again, and I got some stuff. I got a bag of goodies from Cast... Right there. Castaway Bay bag. Full of stuff, and I got a bunch of DVDs, so let's go for it. Now, I don't have any Blu-rays this time, but I do got a lot of stuff. That's the Nutcracker music, by the way. First, I'm, I'm sick of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Snakes on a plane. Awesome freaking movie. I got it at Best Buy for four bucks. I just saw it again. I was tired, but I still think the movie's awesome. Next, I got this movie, at Dollar Tree. Echoes of, Ro of War. It's got a decent cast. It's got James Badgedale, Ethan Embry, William Forsythe, and Micah Monroe from the It Follows and from Independence Day Regurgitated. But she's a beautiful actress, really good. And uh, look at that face. Near perfection. Beautiful American actress that's in her 20s. She's not some teeny bopper. And this is only 99 minutes, so thankfully it's not two hours. So hopefully that's a good one. Next, I like this cartoon. I saw this on the Disney Channel a couple years ago on Disney XD. It's very cute. Love this character. I'm glad he made an appearance in um, in Guardians 2. Pac-Man. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. The pack is back, yeah, in CGI. This is a very cute cartoon. It only has four episodes, but I saw almost every single one of these episodes. Very colorful, very bright, very fun. Lots of references to the game. The music from the game, awesome. Next, I got the original, now I got the sequel. Bring it on again. I'm going to give this a shot. I think this black girl is absolutely gorgeous. It's only 90 minutes. It's it's uh, It's got a bunch of girls. See? I'm open-minded. I like women. I will always see women mo women in movies because I'm straight. And I love women. Wonder Woman was a big, a big plus of that movie. Is that Gal Gadot is a real female. Not a transgendered or something. It's women that I want. And that's women that I'll get. Hey, I, I know what I am. Another film, uh, Euro Trip. This is the uh, unrated version. Yeah, not a big fan of Michelle Trattenberg. Let's face it. <laughs> Scarlett Joe has her career now. So she failed, but I'm going to see the movie anyway. There's other women in it. There's Lucy Lawless in, in a cameo and uh, a bunch of other girls. So I think... Uh, the girl from Kristen Krupp makes a cameo. Matt Damon sings a song in the movie. And, you know, I've seen Road Trip, so I'm going to give it a chance. These also I got at Dollar Tree as well. I got uh, Grand Piano. This is with John Cusack, good actor, and Elijah freaking Wood. Frodo Baggins himself from Lord of the Rings. This is a good, he's a good actor. I've seen him since he was a kid in North and in Flipper. You know, he's always been a good actor. Got amazing blue eyes. And uh, this movie is only 90 minutes. See, I didn't want to buy just a bunch of two-hour movies. Next, I also got this at Dollar Tree. Boon Raku with Josh Hartnett. Good actor. Woody Harrelson, good actor. Gact, I don't know who that is. Kevin McKidd, he's from, uh, I think he was in, uh, uh, not Dylan Dog. What was that thing called? Dog Soldiers. You got Ron Perlman, who's always good. And you got Demi Moore, who... I've always liked her. I've never hated her, no matter what movie she's done. I think she has a beautiful face. This one is two hours, but I think it should be good. I mean, I saw B B Wonder Woman, and this one is R, so it should be a lot more bloodier. And this is the last one I got at the, at the pawn shop. Grind. A, this is not the grind I was looking for, but it has a decent cast. It's a uh, skateboarding movie. It's got uh, uh, Mike Vogel. He, I think he was in um, Cloverfield. Vince Vuluff, who I never heard of, Adam Brody, Joey Kern, and Jennifer Morrison from Once Upon a Time, who's a beautiful girl. I've always said that. I've never hated her. Didn't think her character was that important in that show, but I still like her as an actress. And uh, should be interesting. It's only it's 105 minutes, so not the longest short film. Uh, you know, short film. Now my bag of goodies. First, I got this Disney. I'm a Disney fanatic. This is. Hannah Montana's gift set. It's got a uh, frame, one coffee mug, and a mini ca candy cane. So let's open it up. I got this for $2. I went to a, a bunch of yard sales today. And I love Miley Cyrus. I always have. I know I will never hate her. But she gave me Hannah. That's something. There's the mug. Beautiful mug with Miley's Hannah Montana. Be your own star. It's beautiful. 
There's the frame. You're crazy now, Miley, but I'd still... Hey, if I was Liam Hemsworth, I'd marry you in a heartbeat and have beautiful white babies with you. Well, mixed babies. Because you're you're worth it, Miley. You really are. I'm not a friend. I'm not a I'm a man. I'm not ashamed to show who or what I like. And those are the candy canes. So a nice little set here. I got it for two dollars because I couldn't resist. I love Hannah Montana. It's one of my favorite. The last great Disney Channel show that I saw in the 2000s. It wasn't until Austin and Alley that uh, I really you know liked a lot of stuff. Next, I got this set that the, uh, for two dollars. Horror. Of the Blood Monsters. Never heard of this movie. He's got John Carradine, who I miss. He's a good actor. You got uh, Robert Dix with his with an X, and uh, I think it's an Italian film. So, and it's it's a long movie. It's 166 minutes. Wow, over two and a half hours. I thought this movie would be like 90 minutes, but hey, I'm gonna do a marathon of films. I'm gonna pick them out of a cup and just review them and some of them and uh, watch them over the summer. So I, at least I have a summer full of entertainment. This is a uh, alpha release. Next, I got this film. This is the 2004 version. I think this movie's awesome. Screw the war zone. I don't care because that movie sucked. Punisher, the 2004 movie with John Travolta as the villain and Thomas freaking Jane as Frank Castle freaking Punisher. I like this movie. I've always liked this movie. I think it's badass. I think the action when it's there, it's really good. It's not PG-13. It's got the one of the best leads. I like the Dolph Lundgren movie as well, but it's hard to find. But this is a good movie. I don't want to hear, it's mediocre. It's not, it's not from the comics. It did the best it could with the source material. Punisher is a very hard character to pull off. But when you do it right... I think this is does it right, and it doesn't hold back. It's R. It's just like Deadpool with the with the tone. It's not very funny, but you know, except for the fight scene with Kevin Nash and, and uh, Thomas Jane, that's awesome, by the way, with the Italian music. Awesome, and it's well directed, and I think it's underrated. It deserves better. This should have gotten a sequel instead of freaking Warzone. Warzone can suck it. Next, I completed the the first the trilogy of the original pirates. I have the first one. Now I have Dead Man's Chest. This is the bare bones DVD. It only has a couple features, and the World's End. The box is a little torn up, but now I got both of these films, so I can see all three films. I'll see four by myself. I know my friend says four sucks. I'm gonna see it for Johnny Depp and the story, and then when the fifth one comes out on Blu-ray, I'll watch that one. But now I got the two seat, the first two sequels, which I've heard mixed things, but I don't care. It's Disney, and this is before Disney sold their soul to the devil when they made Star Wars and the Muppets and all that. No, that's not the Disney I like. This is the Disney I like from back in the day when they put effort. Next, this is a Hollywood classic. I love this movie. I think it's one of the best uh, kind of Christmas movies in the third act. It becomes a Christmas movie, but it's a classic old movie. It's, it's a 40s film for that people watch every year. It's a Wonderful Life. One of the best mo holiday movies to see. It's got a lot of emotion. Jimmy Stewart's fantastic in the movie. Donna Reed is beautiful. The children are very cute. The film has a beautiful message about enjoy your life. Don't throw it away. Don't ever wish that you were not ex in existence because people, you impact people with the little things that you do. Your existence means so much to others. That's why I have friends here on Facebook and YouTube. All my friends, I am grateful I met every single one of them last year and in 2015. Parker, Sean, Tevya, uh, Anthony, Josh, all of you guys, I treasure you just like I treasure this movie because I met Brian a long time ago. But this is a good movie. It's really long, but it is a fantastic classic and it doesn't need a sequel. Screw the sequel. You never needed that. Next, I finally got it. Uh, screw the sequel. I never cared about the sequel. It's a piece of garbage. It's an insult to this movie. But Sean, I finally got my copy of The Mask. The one and only mask with Jim freaking Carrey. Cameron Diaz's gorgeous face. And it's got a ton of features. I can't wait to hear the commentaries. I saw this movie when I was nine. I loved it as a kid. It's one of the best comic book movies of the mid-90s. It's not a Marvel movie, so... And I read the comics, so I know how different it is from the movie. And this is a fun movie. Just very very funny, great effects, good story, a good romance before Deadpool came out. This is like a, G, a PG-13 green version of Deadpool. 
And Carrie, one of Carrie's best films, one of my favorite films with him. And uh, this movie can suck it. Go screw yourself, son of the mask. You don't exist. There can be only one, and it's the one with Jim Carrey. Period. I still got more. Next, I got this one. This is what Fembuster should have been. Sean, if you have not seen this movie, see this and forget that you even saw that feminazi BS last year. Evolution. Directed by the original Ghostbusters director, Ivan Reitman. This movie is hilarious. I love the CGI. The, the effects look really good. This film is from 2001. 16 years ago, the effects look better in this than in anything in Fembusters. Anything. And you got a you got Dan Aykroyd in a supporting role, and it's not forced. You got a great cast: David Duchovny, Orlando Jones, Sean William Scott, Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore trump tumbles in this movie, and she's more charming than Sandra Bullock falling on her face, or the queef joke in Fembusters, or freaking Melissa McCarthy say, "I don't have enough wontons," <laughs> or Kate McKinnon doing, Egh. "No, screw you, Kate McKinnon. Go join your LGBTQ BS." We don't need that in your comedy. It's not funny. This is funny. It's got a great soundtrack, great effects, a good story. And it, 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 I liked it. I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad I finally got it on DVD. Yeah. Take your Fembusters and shove it. Ivan Raymond would never direct a sequel to that. That movie is a, is a travesty. Next, I got this for a dollar. Brand new. I'm going to give this one chance. I still say screw J.J. Abrams. I hated what he did with Star Wars. But with this movie, I'm going to give it a ch one chance. And I know it has lens flares. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get through them. The 2009 Star Trek. Like I said, screw J.J. Abrams. I'm not seeing it for him. I liked Chris Pine in in, in uh, Wonder Woman. I thought he was fine in it. Zoe Saldana. I warmed up to her because I love Guardians one and two. You can see Baby Groot right behind me. I will always keep that poster because I love Baby Groot. And Gamora is an awesome character, and she's female, just like Wonder Woman. Now, this one, I'm going to give it a chance. I like the Star Trek movies. There's a couple of them I didn't like, like Generations and Insurrection. but And I thought, eh, for Star Trek V. But I, the first four, really good. Six, good. I love First Contact. It's my favorite of the, of the Star Trek films. This one, I've heard a mountains of praise, but I'm not going to give J.J. any credit. I'm going to give it to the, to the writers who wrote this. And I know they suck now, because this was when they could write. Now, they wrote for freaking Amazing Spider-Man 2. <clears throat> I'd rather see this. At least Factory Sealed is going to be... I'll give it a chance. But like I said, screw yourself, J.J. Abrams. Because you are not a good filmmaker. A uh, James Gunn is. George Lucas is. Steven Spielberg is. You're not. Sorry. Anyway... Next, this is a true classic sequel, one of the best movies I've seen in the theater in 10 years, and it, I got finally got one of the extended cuts, Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers extended cut. I love these movies. Like, I don't have all of them, but I got this one, and I, I couldn't pass it up for a dollar. It's a, it, this is a true epic. Like, people, some people love Harry Potter. This is my Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at these beautiful artwork. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I know uh, Parker's a big fan. I'm glad he is. Because this is, this is fantastic. This world at Middle Earth, gorgeous. Gorgeous landscapes. Peter Jackson, that man knows what he's doing, Abrams. There, I said it again. Because, you know, Jackson gets a lot of crap for this and The Hobbit. But those movies are magical, dude. Magical. Harry Potter was done by at least four directors. It wasn't one director doing it. J uh, Peter Jackson did all of these movies. And they all paid off. They're beautiful, magnificently structured, gorgeous visuals, gorgeous freaking music. I love the cast. It's just amazing. I, I love these freaking movies. I want to get the other extended cuts as well because they deserve it. These movies are near masterpieces, man. Yes, they're very long. But the story is interesting. That's why I can go back for this. And the other two films. And the Hobbit films as well. Next, I got... Uh, I just got this for the artwork because I already got this movie. But I enjoy it. It's funny. Screw the critics. I want to review this sometime because I didn't get to last month. Thanks to, you know, my stress. But anyway, 
the whole nine yards. Now I got the whole ten yards and the whole nine yards with the artwork and the extra pictures in the back. Because I adore Amanda Peet. I love that woman's work. This is the most gorgeous she's ever looked in the movie. And when you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Just, I heart you, Amanda Peet. Your husband made the Game of Thrones? Good for him. You are a beautiful woman. You always have been, and you always will be. In my heart. Because I know you can act, you're beautiful, and you have screen presence. And you can be funny, too. Because you have more facial expression than the hobo and, and freaking uh, Felicity Jones and any Brit I've ever seen. I mean, look at that face. Just take a look. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And Bruce Willis isn't half bad, too. Or Matthew Perry or uh, Natasha Henstridge, another gorgeous blonde. Just like, uh, you know, Supergirl. I got two more. I got a lot of stuff, man. This is a hoarding video I've been waiting to do for months. Next, I got this movie. I enjoy this movie for Stallone. I think he's awesome in it. It's an underrated uh, disaster movie, which I get off on because those movies are fun. Sharknado, Earthquake, Twister. There's just a lot of them. This one is no, is no different. Daylight. Finally got it. And it's got a bunch of features on it, too. Uh, Rob Cohen's a good director. I like him as a director. He really does a good job here. Um, Stallone and the, some of the rest of the cast, they're hit and miss. I like seeing some of them. You got Viggo Mortensen in an early, early role. You have um, uh, D Dan, Dan Hedaya. You got J.O. Sanders. You got Karen Young. You got uh, uh, Amy Brenneman. I like her. I know she's very loud in the movie, but she's beautiful. I love watching her in movies. I've always thought she had this very warm presence on screen. I saw her in Casper and in a bunch of other stuff. She's just a very warm-hearted actress that I really enjoy watching. I know she's not for everybody, but I will take her now over any of these freaking foreigners that I'm not a fan of. Just, it's a preference of mine. I'm American. I was born here in the U.S. I'm not the biggest fan of actors that have horrible accents. Just saying. In Wonder Woman, it didn't bother me. An Israeli accent, we barely hear that in, in screens. But British, we hear it all the time. We hear... Australian accents all the time and other accents, but hey, this isn't about that. But this movie is fun. Watch it. It's a good time. Gonna get these little things off. These are useless. These little... Ugh, these things hurt my fingers. They're the worst. And last but not least, yes, I've never seen